Schloss Alderney, the Channel Island so heavily fortified by the Germans in the war, HMS Anson lies at anchor and the princess with the Duke of Edinburgh comes ashore to a delighted reception from the small population of 1200. Princess Elizabeth plants a tree to replace one planted by the Duke of Connaught 44 years ago and hewn down by the Nazis. Then Her Royal Highness pays her tribute to the inhabitants of the gallant little island. Your lot, like that of the other Channel Islands, has been very hard throughout the war. And I cannot exaggerate the sympathy which we, who were spared the horrors of occupation, felt for our loyal fellow subjects in the oldest dominions of the Crown. Returning to Anson, their Royal Highnesses are carried on a further short voyage to Jersey with an accompanying destroyer in attendance. They pass in a launch between lanes of yachts dressed over all on their way to the Victoria Pier at St. Helier. Here, the Duke of Edinburgh conducted an inspection. and the princess talked to the lifeboatmen of the island. But the most charming episode was that in which Miss Sylvia Lesel presented her bouquet. This small person was very well drilled in the etiquette of approaching and withdrawing before royalty. All of Jersey's 50,000 people were out in the sunshine somewhere along the route, contributing their share of the island's greeting to the princess and the duke. Their Royal Highnesses were able to enjoy some grand views of Jersey's lovely scenery. A population which has more reason than most of us to appreciate the happiness of living under the British crown had another chance of cheering the Royal visitors. This was at the United Club overlooking Royal Square, which was used by the Germans for their wartime proclamations. At this fire in Oxford.